But the thing that I see outside looking in, I mean, people go at each other all game. I know they was going at each other all game because, like I say, they lost to them last year. So they definitely got a chip on their shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Michigan State ain't did nothing really, bro, this year. So for you to go to that level, I feel like that you went too far because, yeah, man, people fight this and that or whatever, push and shove and slap or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But to swing helmets and you guys got y'all helmets on or whatever, man, that's that's just too much. Bro, you could have really hurt this man. You could have really killed this man. Then y'all looking crazy. Like, y'all just got to y'all just gotta know the boundaries of this shit, man. Like, come yeah. on, bro, man. Y'all are y'all are just about pro athletes, man. Y'all y'all are right next to pro athletes. Some of y'all are making, some of y'all won't. You know what I'm saying? But now, if you would have made it, you got this tarnish tarnishing your name. You feel yeah. me? So yeah, they now you now, now you're gonna go from from first to second round. Now you're gonna go to sixth round, seventh round, you undrafted, or to the damn CFL. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because yeah. you got these, you, you got these little these little tic tacs on your on your resume now. You feel me? Oh man, this man had six sacks this season, and he had seven interceptions since he's been in college. And or these players ain't even that good but, to begin with. So yeah, I right. Feel you. But but just to have that stuff on there or whatever. So if they did want to take a look at you because you're the prototype. You're the six three, two hundred pound corner, this and that, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Cam Chancellor type guy that could get picked up, whatever, in the third round. Now they're going to be like, man, he's a head case. He's, he's not smart. He's, he's, he falls under pressure. You know what I'm saying? So you really you really hurting yourself or whatever with that stuff. Take that loss of man haul ass. You just got to go, know, bro. You got you got to go, bro. Don't put yourself in, under that type of, you know what I'm saying, pressure and stuff like that or whatever, knowing this could be your meal ticket. You feel me? Yeah, that's true. But in the, yeah. the moment, a lot of these kids don't think about that. I mean, Sam, you, you saw fight. Florida, Florida State used to go and blah, 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 hell on. Right. Right. <laughs> they, they used to throw down for real. Oh, yeah. But that stuff was on the field, though. There wasn't, that, that wasn't all that other stuff. That stuff was on the field. You right. feel me? Exactly. That's what I'm because, saying. Yeah, because we, cause we hate each other, definitely. That's right. We definitely hate each other. Yep. Yep. And, and, you know, you got these kids out there, you know, some of them from the same same area, played it, probably played against right. each other in high school. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. You went there, I went here. Okay, let's let's see what's up. But there's no place in college sports for that, man. There's no no place. There's no place for that. And I'll tell you something else. This investigation is not over. Right. It better not not be. If it is, we're fucking if it is, we're starving the capital, meaning Lansing. Yeah, this 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 investigation is not over. And And at Valente 97.1, I'll never listen to him again. Again, he's trying to compare Harbaugh to Donald Trump. Oh my goodness! I'm done. Okay. Why did you just mention his name on here? Moving yeah, on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Yeah. Fucking right, clowns, man. man. But he's a grad from there, so it fucking speaks for. And you know what? Nowadays, because I'm not gonna say this about all Michigan State fans, because they do have the real fans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that it, whoever, everybody who's a real Michigan State fan is just as disgusted by this as we are. I'm telling oh, you yeah. right now. I'm yeah. telling you right now. If you don't what? feel that way even a little bit as a state fan, you're part of the fucking problem in their culture. I'm telling you. OK. Yeah. And I remember us, you know, pops taking me to games as a kid, you know, going to East Lance. Bro, they've always been nasty as shit there, dude. I remember one year we was leaving and some dude had like a seat pad. And then, you know, me and pops in the car, he's driving. And then like we drive by him and he kind of like goes like this, like he hits the back of pops' van and shit. Man, he, he pulls that motherfucking car over to stay in the car. He's like Denzel on training day, you know what I'm saying? Walking around like <laughs> them dudes, they started walking, boy. They started walking faster and faster. Hell that yeah. was one, that's one memory I have as a kid. You know, we would get in there and they always check our tickets like at every, you know what I'm saying? Like just to make sure, you know, while letting all the Spartan people go through, you get in there right. sitting down. They tell you, oh, you, you shouldn't sit there. You're not supposed to sit here. Pops always had to argue with somebody about like, don't tell, don't tell us where the fuck we can sit, bro. Like right. we pay for our tickets too. Like, my no, tickets. we ain't having right. that. Mm-hmm. That game in 2018, I just talked about earlier where they locked arms and all that shit and, and walked across and Bush stomped them up. Dude, so after that game, I don't know if you remember this, Pops, but we was walking out. And I guess the marching band was coming back through or some shit. So we're just trying to go around and like get to where we was going. And I'm trying to get out of the way. This dude, this dude puts a fucking rope up. Like they was like creating like a space to block everybody out or whatever. But he's putting it up. I'm just trying to go around. I'm not even trying to go by him. This dude like nudges me, pushes me, bro. Yeah. Yeah. 
dude, I fucking spazzed. Like, I, I can't mean, believe I didn't hit this dude. Like, I said, Jordan, I said, Jordan, the game's over. We won. Don't go to jail. Bro, <laughs> I was so <laughs> fucking hated. I he said, get your dude, hands off me, man. Well, you're not supposed dude. to. Move. And, and I kind of interviewed Dean. I'm like, it's fine. Tell him that. Don't put your hands on him. Don't dude, put your hands on him. You're I mad. You got your ass whooped. I snapped at this mad, dude. If I said what I told that dude on here, we would. this would be our last episode. I fucking snapped, dude. Like, right. don't ever put your hands on me. And then in 2016, Pops, we remember what the fuck happened there. Mind in our own oh, business, yeah. taking pictures. Like, these fans are always just drunk, and I'm not – got to do the most, man. Don't know how to act. Sitting there, minding our own business, taking pictures. Me, Pops, my uncles, sure. You know, my cousins, cooling. Just in the, and then they go walk by and then call us like homophobic, you know, homophobic terms and all this. I'm like, dude, what about your business? We end up, right. you know, getting it, getting it to them. They told Pops to come say it to his face. And so Pops walks right over there. I walk behind him. He do it. And Pops tells him, like, he's like, we're going to whoop y'all ass today. Pops goes to shake his hand. Like, we're going to whoop y'all ass, but enjoy the game. After popping off, you know, we're take, trying to take the high road here. You know what I'm saying? Pops is shaking his hand, you know, cool. Enjoy the game. He looks right. at Pops, drunk as hell. He's like, you gonna fucking swing on me right now? Really, bro? Really? The guy That's... was the guy was five foot nothing, one hundred and nothing. Sam mm-hmm. drunk as hell. What kind of damage do you think he would have done? Right. I'm I'm, I'm I'm sitting up here. I'm I'm half laughing. I'm he like, would have kicked the, he would have kicked the shins to death. <laughs> bro, he said that to him, and I just I snapped, dude. I had been drinking a lot. I fucking snapped, and I bitch slapped him. Man, get the fuck out of here, man! What are you talking? Like, got in a little scuffle, and that was that was before the fucking game started. Like, bro, yeah, can we chill right. out? Mm-hmm. Can we right. chill? But Too much I going never, on. It's always never, something with that. I never had a serious, serious, serious problem, you know, other than words, until lately up there, man. It's gotten nasty up there. Right. Right? It's gotten nasty. But we bring enough. We got enough fans up there. Sam. Well, I know y'all are gonna fill it up. I know y'all are gonna fill it up everywhere y'all go. It'll be a, it'll be a grin if you can't gain in one of these games, especially in these Lansing. We take over that place. We take over these Lansing. So I can't tell you. I can't tell you the year. I can't tell you whether we won or lost the game. We scored a touchdown in the fourth quarter, and I and and and, and, and I swear to this, my hand to God, we scored a touchdown in the fourth quarter in that game. Sam, I looked around that stadium, and half the people were cheering. Half right. the people we up in East Lansing, and I'm like, "Wow, <laughs> right. let's go, let's go, for real." Like That's you, how we like represent. Dedicated, East dedicated to the cause. We like show you told, up in East Lansing. Right. Like you we told me when I was, like you told me when I was a kid when we first seen that. You said, "Look at that. You see that around there? You see that?" And you looked at oh. me. Remember what you told me? You said, oh, "We don't die. Good. We multiply." That's right. <laughs> Let me ask you this question first, pops, and then I'll have, and then I'll see what you want to say about it, Sam. Um. So as far as what happened in the game and all that coward bullshit, uh, what actions you think should be taken? Like if you're a Big Ten commissioner or if you're the ath- like uh, the president of the school, athletic director, whatever, whoever makes those decisions, like what would you do in this situation? Okay, how many games they got left? Uh, four. They got four games left? I think so, right? Yeah, four. Well, they got to win the next – yeah, so the three, three and five. Yeah, the three and five. They got to win two. Uh, they got to win uh, three of the four to three. be both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you got to have six uh, wins for, to be both eligible. So, yeah, Whoa. they have four games left. If I'm the commissioner, they're suspended the rest of the year. Juwan Howard punched that coach. He got, what, five games? Mm-hmm. They, should be, they should be suspended for the rest of the year, at least. That's what I think. They should be suspended for the rest of the year. Do you think they should still be allowed on the team, just suspended? They shouldn't be allowed to participate. You can participate in practice, but not in the game. So then they no, shouldn't be no, 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 no. I take that back. No, no activities, nothing. You know, no, no. Well, that that, that comes back. that came with their suspension, by the way, too. The four players that were suspended, uh, part of the four dumbasses, by the way, were the players that were suspended that I named earlier. I was heated, so I didn't state that i don't think but yeah those were the dumbasses suspended so but mel tucker did say that they're not going to be a part of activities nothing they're not okay. you know okay so okay but like i said, like the, said the investigation is still ongoing it may be more right 
Because that one starting I, line, because that stuck that one starting linebacker, number four, he took part in that shit too. Get his ass too. I don't care if he's a mm -hmm. starter or not. Get his ass too. Man, what about you, Sam? What you doing? If you have if you calling shots on this, which like what's your consequences? What you what you making making happen? I'm definitely finding Michigan State probably a million dollars. At least that. So we're gonna start there. Uh like I say, forfeit, forfeit, uh, bowl eligibility. If y'all do get it, maybe for the next for two year. years. For the next two, two years. years. Okay. Yeah, definitely next I'm two years. I was about to say, this year's a lost, se lost season. So. Right, okay. right. So, like I say, uh, suspension, expulsion for those guys, anybody that partake in any part of that, you know what I'm saying? So, if you even pushed, if you did any of that stuff or whatever, your ass is gone. I think you should be suspended. I think if you didn't like throw a punch or you didn't like was in the main area, I feel like you should be, you should, you should be suspended. You should be suspended for like at least two, three games. But if you throwing helmets, if you're doing all this extra stuff, this and that or whatever, man, I feel like you should be expelled. Definitely be expelled. No parts of the Michigan culture, whatever your name should be taking off any stats, anything or whatever you, you are gone. It's over with. But uh, definitely, definitely uh, a fine, definitely a million dollar fine to one point five million dollar. Yeah, I think a fine is coming. Michigan definitely, States. I think a fine oh, is in order. State. Yeah, yeah for real, because because y'all got y'all got to take y'all got to y'all got to handle y'all players, man. For real, y'all got to handle y'all players. But the I old, think, uh, the old, uh, like I said back back in the day, you had Shin Beckler, Paterno, and I don't know if I don't know if y'all own enough to remember Woody Hayes, the crazy Ohio State coach. I mean, he lost his job by punching an opposing a, a player. Syracuse even player. him, even yeah. him. They used to preach to their players. Shin Beckler and, and all of them. You Are throw, we, uh, you yeah, throw yeah. one punch. You throw one punch. You are finished. Gone. Right. Permanently. Right. I don't care what that player did to you. I don't care what, I don't care how bad he talked about your mama. I don't care. If you throw one punch, Woody Hayes didn't even allow fighting in practice. He used to get out of the field. As crazy as he was. He do as I say, not as, as I do. This clown he ass. Right. He, used to, he used to kick him out of practice. Out of practice. Bo right. let him fight in practice. Like, yeah, 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 we want this intensity. Yeah, we like, you know, Bo like this. Yeah, yeah, get him, get him, you know. Mm -hmm. But Definitely. yeah, man. You do that to a opposing player back in the day, you are gone. And that's what needs to come back. That needs to come right. back. You know, mm -hmm. they're too soft, mm -hmm. they're too lenient. Like I said, Very I'm lenient. Anxious, Very I'm lenient. Anxious, I'm anxious to see how long they're going to be suspended. But to right. me, at least should be the rest of the year. Right. I think that the players who are involved in the, the terrible shit – need to be gone gone like if they find out from a video or they can identify whoever swung the helmet you need to be expelled you need to be right. arrested that's inexcusable you can kill somebody like that um just the push and shit suspension maybe if you throw punches definitely got to be suspended rest of the year yeah. mm -hmm. you know but i would do it by how the how, uh, like the amounts of evidence against each player right you know per se that's how i would handle it obviously a fine um Possibly bowl eligibility, but I don't know, man. It's hard to say what's going to happen and how much more is going to come right. from this and how much longer this investigation is going to go. But right. that's just probably somewhere I would start. But they definitely got to get to the bottom of it. It's it's sickening. It's disgusting. Everybody just needs to move on. It's like Mich and as Michigan fans, we're disappointed and we're disgusted too. It's like right. you can't even fully enjoy, you know, the victory and mm -hmm. dominating that. I mean, we enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. Nothing. Right. You know, makes me happier than beating them, them clowns. Put, you know what I'm saying? That but put a damper on it. That put it a damper did, on it. Right. You know, it did, man. Knowing that two of our players were assaulted, it's a brotherhood. It's a damper, family. Right. You know what I mean? Like we care about these kids. We yeah, care about. Right. Yeah, you. We worried. care about all yeah, the college right. kids. You know what I'm saying? Like I, dude, if this was any team, we'd be talking about it now. It just hits closer to home. You know what I mean? Right. When that happens in that specific game on a team we happen right. to hate more than any other team. And yes, we hate. We hate. I'm. I'm here to state on the record. Me and this man right here hate Michigan State more than Ohio State. We it's do. not even I close. I sure do. I know it's not I sure even do. close. I know it's I sure not do. even close, bro. And I'll tell you something like, else. That's next just year's, something from living at home. Next year's game in East Lansing is going to get quite nasty. Right. And I'm going to be mm -hmm. there 
seven hours before kickoff. <laughs> Dude, seven they might hours have, before kickoff. Hey, they might have see, the National Guard at that game. 